क्लास सेवन मैथ्स चाप्टर टू एक्सरसाइज टू पॉइंट वन क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स मल्टीप्लाई एंड एक्सप्रेस एज ए मिक्सड फ्रैक्शन सो इन द क्वेश्चन इट इज गिवन ए होल नंबर विच इज मल्टीप्लाइड विथ ए मिक्सड फ्रैक्शन वी शुड मल्टीप्लाई होल नंबर विथ मिक्सड फ्रैक्शन देन द आंसर वी शुड एक्सप्रेस इन द फॉर्म ऑफ ए मिक्सड फ्रैक्शन सो प्रॉब्लम नंबर एट इट इज गिवन थ्री इंटू फाइव वन बाई फाइव सी You should not multiply directly. That means three into five, fifteen, and put fifteen one by five. This is what wrong. First, you should convert five one by five into an improper fraction. Then you should multiply. Then you should convert that to again a mixed fraction. So, first five one by five. In order to convert this into mixed fraction, what we'll do is we'll multiply five with this five and add. Numerator. That means five into five plus one divided by five. So this becomes five into five is what twenty five plus one by five. This is equal to twenty six by five. See, if you divide twenty six with five, five five is twenty five. So remainder is what one. So how you write this in mixed fraction form? First we'll write five, which is quotient. Then remainder one in numerator, then denominator five. So this way, five one by five is converted to twenty six by five. Now three into five one by five can be written as three into twenty six divided by five. So twenty six into three is seventy eight. So divided by five. So this is what improper fraction. This we should convert to mixed fraction. So what we'll do? We'll multiply seventy-eight with five. So five ones are five. Twenty-eight. Five fives, twenty-five. Remainder is what three. In order to convert this to mixed fraction, what we'll do? First we'll write quotient as a whole number. That is fifteen. Then remainder in numerator part of the fraction divided by denominator, which is divisor. So fifteen three by five. So this is the answer. See, if you multiply three with five, we'll get fifteen one by five. So this is wrong, because the correct answer is what fifteen three by five. Now, if you do other problems, then you will have good clarity on this topic. So problem number B, five into six three by four. Now we should convert six three by four into improper fractions. In order to convert this, what we'll do? We'll multiply four into six first. Four into six plus what we'll do? We'll add numerator three divided by four. This equal to twenty-four plus three by four, which is equal to twenty-seven by four. See, if you still get confused in converting this to mixed fraction, what you could do is you could do six three by four. You could make this as six plus three by four. Because six three by four is equal to six plus three by four, so here LCM is what four, and six into four plus three, so this becomes twenty four plus three by four, which is equal to twenty seven by four. Like this also, you could convert mixed fraction into an improper fraction. Now five into six three by four becomes five into twenty seven by four. Five into twenty seven is what one thirty five divided by four. We should convert this into a mixed fraction. So we'll divide one thirty-five with four. Four threes twelve. Three minus two is one, and remainder is five. So four threes again twelve. So remainder is three. We can't further divide three with four. So what we'll do? We'll put thirty-three, which is a whole number. Then remainder in the numerator part, and divisor, which is four, in the denominator. So answer is thirty three three by four. Similarly, problem number C, seven into two one by four. Two one by four can be written as four into two. So this we multiply with this, then add one which is numerator. Then we put four again in the denominator. So this becomes eight plus one by four, which is equal to nine by four. Otherwise, you could add two plus one by four. So here LCM is what four, two into four plus one, because one by four into four we get four ones are four ones are which is equal to one. 
so this becomes 8 plus 1 by 4 which is equal to 9 by 4 okay so 7 into 2 1 by 4 is what 7 into 9 by 4 so this becomes 7 into 9 by 4 so this is what 7 9 is a 63 divided by 4 so if you divide 63 with 4 4 ones are 4 23 4 5 is a 20 remainder is what 3 so this becomes whole number 15 then 3 in the numerator and divisor 4 in the denominator answer is 15 3 by 4 problem number d 4 into 6 1 by 3 so 6 1 by 3 can be written as 3 into 6 plus 1 by 3 so this becomes 18 plus 1 by 3 which is equal to 19 by 3 other method is 6 plus 1 by 3 which is equal to LCM is 3 6 into 3 plus 1 by 3 into 3 3 3 gets cancelled so 6 into 3 is 18 plus 1 by 3 which is also equal to 19 by 3 now 4 into 6 1 by 3 becomes 4 into 19 by 3 4 into 19 is what 76 divided by 3 so to convert to mixed fraction what we'll do we'll divide 76 with 3 3 twos are 6. Remainder is 1 and we'll pull down 6 here. 3 fives 15. Remainder is 1. We can't further divide. So what we'll do? We put 25 in whole number part and 1 in numerator and 3 in denominator. So answer is 25 1 by 3. Problem E. 3 1 by 4 into 6. Please convert 3 1 by 4 into an improper fraction then multiply with 6. Then again you convert this into mixed fraction and write the answer in the comments. Now I'll do problem number F. 3 2 by 5 into 8. 3 2 by 5 can be written as 5 into 3 plus 2 divided by 5. This is what 5 into 3 is 15 plus 2 by 5. This equal to 17 by 5. See, 3 plus 2 by 5. So LCM is what? 5. 3 into 5 plus 2 by 5 into 5. 5, 5 gets cancelled. This becomes 15 plus 2 by 5, which is equal to 17 by 5. 3, 2 by 5 into 8 becomes 17 by 5 into 8. 17 into 8 is what? 8 sevens are 56. For 8 ones are 8. 8 plus 5 is 13. So 136 divided by 5. To convert this to a mixed fraction, what we'll do? We'll divide 136 with 5. 5 twos are 10 and 36. 5 sevens 35. So remainder is what? 1. What we'll put? Whole number. That is quotient. That is 27. And remainder 1 in the numerator and divisor 5 in the denominator. So answer is 27 1 by 5. This way we will solve problem number 6. So please don't forget to solve E part of this problem and write the answer in the comments.